It's a male shot at Broad and Clean. Once we exposed the wound, it started bleeding like crazy. He had a very serious injury that, that could be a mortal wound if the bleeding wasn't stopped. Oh, we, need to, we need to go. We got to get him up. Hey, hey, hey come on, we got to get up. You got to stand up. Stand up on your good leg. You ready? One, One two, two, three. There we go. Look, right over there, sit in that crease. Sit down, legs up. Yeah, he's got a lot going on. You're going to feel a big stick in your arm, OK? Don't move. And this one, was two, one, two, over seven. Do you have any medical conditions? She's going to get IV. I'm just going to give you a little oxygen. Take a nice deep breath, man. You're doing good. That's good. That's good. 20 shows. Dan, you need anything? No, good? I'm good. Thank you. Right. With trauma patients, we want to spend as little time as possible on the scene and more time in the truck going to the hospital and doing our treatments en route. Hey, it's Dan with New Orleans Unit 3220. En route to you with a 25-year-old male. Chief complaint of a single gunshot wound to his left side of his groin. I don't see an exit wound at this time. That's his only wound. As a man, that injury, he come close. He come close to it being a lot worse than it was. Approximately two to 250 cc blood loss on the scene. Right now, it seems to be controlled. So look, what's about to happen is we're taking you to University Hospital. That's the trauma center. There's going to be a lot of doctors asking you a whole bunch of questions really fast, and you're going to feel a finger up your butt. I know, but they got to check for bleeding inside. What did you tell me at the hospital? Yes. Yep. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Paige. Man, this guy just got uh, shot over a pack of smokes. Uh, you know, it's just not right. Um, it just reminds me to be grateful. You know, every day you, you tell yourself you just got to be grateful because you never know when your time is coming. Well, how many dudes walked up to me and asked me for a cigarette? Yeah. But I would never think that somebody would try to shoot me, like set me up, you know? Yeah. My it, thing was, he was kind of, uh, I guess chipper is the, not the word I'm looking for, but he was upbeat for a man walking around with a hole next to his junk. You know what I mean? So, hey, I don't get shot in that trying to take his manhood with that one. Willow Street, the unknown aged male, shot multiple times. Police arrived on scene. It's got to be somewhere right in this area. I see him. Nick and I pull up. There's a lot of police everywhere, and they're already setting up tape. 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, chest full of blood. Lori, when we get him in a truck, pop him in the chest. <laughs> when I heard him talk, let's go, Nick. I was like, we need to move. If this guy has a chest cavity full of blood and it is not corrected and corrected soon, it will kill him. I don't know if there's any place else. Oh, oh, yeah. It's working. Oh. Now, hush, no talk and breathe. We get a call from male shot. Why is it so Probably because his cavity's filling up with blood. His long time is going to clear though. It won't be for long. His cavity is actually filled up with blood to the point to where it's causing a collapse of the lung, which can be life-threatening. You want a dotting? I will. So you might have to put a needle through the ribs into the cavity to relieve pressure. 49, what's the address? 49 is 13821, He had instant relief, which was good. I mean, that's what we do it for. Unfortunately, you know it's not going to last very long. We bought him like five minutes. Now we got to go. All right, let's go. Yep. All right. Hey, babe, you still with me? Hey, you still with me? Thanks, dude. We got you, baby. We're going to the hospital right now. This guy looks so terrible. I can tell just by looking at him, he is not getting oxygen. Definitely got a hemo. You're going to be all right, baby. We're going to take care of you. He's losing this battle. So I need to push him to fight. Do you know who did this to you? Did they try to rob you? Talking to him constantly, like, hey, talk okay. to me. Don't go to sleep. Hey, baby, what's your name? Hey, what's your name? Talk to me. I need to know that you're still awake. Oh. OK. You're going to be all right. Oh, I just need you not to give up, OK? 
When you have a patient like this that, you know, you know what's wrong, you know what they need, you just don't have the tools and the capacity to do it, and you're only a few minutes away from the people who can, you, you want them to understand that and you want them to fight because they definitely have a chance at surviving and you know it. You still with me, sweetie? All right, good. We're pulling up to the hospital now, okay? You know, as hard as that must have been, he stayed awake the whole time. I'm gonna tell you what, that is a will to hold on. That dude had 650 cc's of blood in his chest cavity, was cyanotic, heart rate through the roof, blood pressure of 50 over nada, and you made it that 10 extra minutes to get to the trauma center. Right. I mean, that's will to live right there. 6249, 3220, 34S, and the six. EMS 3220 is the air clear. 3220 has control. Four. Young bag. You're going hard out there with the fireworks. All right, cut that out. All right, Dad, we got evisceration. Lean forward, man. There we go. That's what we were about. Exit That's in the back. He has exit wound, yeah. Dad? Yeah. So he's got three wounds. He shot in the arm. They shot in the stomach a couple of times. He was already in a wheelchair. Like, who shoots somebody that's already in a wheelchair? All right, we're going to take care of you, man. Don't even sweat it, all right? Get some IV started. You having trouble breathing? Hold on. Hey, man, I got to cut your uh, pants, Mark. He's got one to the left forearm, one to the left chest, and one to the posterior left. Put your paralyzed Put your paralyzed Keep your arms straight, OK, buddy? I know, baby, you got a hole in it. I'm worried that the air is leaking out your lung. That's why I'm going to get to the hospital. I'm concerned about internal bleeding. Bullets go in and bounce around and hit a lot of things, so we kind of just want to get into the hospital and get some x-rays done and see what's going on with it. All right, Mark. We're going to hold you down, my man. You saw the guy that shot you? I don't remember. You was in your house or you was outside? You was in your house? They come inside? How long ago you were shot that caused your paralysis? He was a young man then, huh? He got shot as a young man, and here he is 30 years later, right back in the same situation. He'll probably survive this one, too, but it's not an experience most people want to have more than once. 32 toilet at the hospital. Now, we're going to get you fixed up and hold you down, man. Man, that's not the way to celebrate 4th of July. How are you going to run in somebody's house and shoot a paraplegic in a wheelchair? In a wheelchair? They're debating a chest tube right now. Really? Yeah. But you know what, as long as you got your little, your little uh, bulletproof vest on, hey. I feel safe, man. If I, if I don't go home, we're in trouble. Actually, you would be in trouble. By the way, yeah, you never, man. Your wife you'd probably never hear the end of that. Yeah. She would do a good job at making you feel like All right, man, let's get back out there, bro. It's hot tonight, dude. Yeah, it is. What's the address of the emergency? Well, neighbor, he's bleeding pretty bad. Call the police. Someone happened, sir. Somebody broke into his house, I think. I think shot him, man. So, I think you should have somebody shot him. Hey, man, sit down, man. Hey, calm down, sir, okay? Calm down. We're going to get somebody out to you. 3232, I'll let you know. Don't put a mail back there. We're out in DT. We're going to the 3300 block for a male that was shot there. All right, I'm glad to hear a 38-year-old black male. He's unsure of where he shot at. There is blood present, but you can't tell where he shot at. He's walking around. He said somebody was in his house. He woke up, he was shot. EMS, we copy that, right? Yeah. I mean, how do you say you just, you woke up shot? It is a medical anomaly. What's up, man? I heard the gunshot, and they got bullets all in the house. OK, baby, can we get you in a truck oh, yeah. so we can, oh, yeah. we can? I take care of my son by myself. Please. All right, we'll take care of everything. Let okay. me look at you real quick. I'm going to have to cut this off of you, OK, okay. honey? Initially, he appears to be fine. It doesn't even look like he's shot. He's got one in the chest. He's got one in the chest right here. All right, baby, let's go this way. I lift up his shirt, and I can see that he has a bullet wound to the chest. Sit right here for me, OK? Oh, Lord, I hope I don't die, man. You're not going to die, baby. We're going to take care of you. We, of course, immediately just get him in the back of the truck so we can see if he has anything more. Right here. 
but where? that's where it starts. It's swollen right there. Did you fall? No, I was in the bed sleep. Okay. <laughs> and you just woke up with this, huh? Yeah, I heard. I don't know how they got in it's my head. Right so while assessing him, Nick feels the back of his head, and he can feel a little skull deformity. All right, baby, sit hey, back. Wait a minute. It looks like he's crying tears, literally. I can't figure out what until I look at it really close. Oh, my God. That's right That's there. It. What happened? I got shot in the face. Yeah. yeah, baby. He's actually got a hole in his eye socket from a bullet. You got it right here, and you got one right here in the crease of your eye. It looks like it went into your nasal cavity, and it may have actually ended up back here. Because Can you see out of this eye? OK. Were you able to see out of this eye before? No. Because he happened to be blind in the eye that he was shot, he had no idea that he was actually hit in the face. Still you got your tongue? Double in his mouth. Yeah. I mean, the chest wound alone, he was definitely going to be a trauma activation. But when you have someone shot to the face, he could have swelling of the brain, bleeding on the brain. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So we are going to get him to the hospital as quickly as possible. You just relax your arms, OK? OK, he's in the we front seat. Order. Just count your blessings. Try to relax. Don't touch back there. But all right. I will pinch. I know this is a stretch mark, so it might hurt a little bit. Oh, Nick, I need one of those lines over here. Look at it this way. They didn't get your son, and you're going to live. So you look at it like that. You're really lucky. I'm going to grab you a scope real quick, and I'm going to check out the little one. Thank you. Come here. Lift up your shirt. I just want to make sure you're OK. You don't have any pain anywhere? No, ma'am. Okay. All right, hop in. I mean, in my day, I've seen a lot of lucky people, but this guy probably ranks in the top five. Chest, OK. Face, come on. You don't want to get shot in the face and live to tell about it. Thank you, man. I have my son, baby. I have your son, baby. He's in the front seat. Say hey to your dad. Yeah. He's in the front. 3232, code 3UH. The luckiest dude you're going to meet. Dude. Did it go straight through or did Entrance, it go? Entrance. And I couldn't tell. Obviously, you can't tell from an x-ray. You're going to need a, a cat. Right. But you can see the bullet. In the like, back. Yeah. So and one. you got the one in the chest. Right. Yeah. And it, luckily, it didn't hit his heart. Right. Yeah. So. Or a lung. The luckiest dude, period. Dude. Once he comes out, we go into the boat. We go on gambling because that's what y'all do. Yeah, y'all decided hey, that. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna find him hey. and I'm gonna put some, uh, put all some money on whatever he says, red or black, whatever right. he wants. Yeah. You <laughs> so, are lucky, lucky dude. Yeah. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Ransom <sighs> You know, they're not dead. I can work with that.